What's going on YouTube? Rylan here in the Garage Gym and in today's episode we are comparing something that has been debated for a long time. I've been wanting to do this review. I have the knockoff Meg Grips versus a full set, all seven handles of the official USA made Meg Grips. So stay tuned, I'm gonna compare the both of these and give you my thoughts. All right, welcome back. And today we're talking about the Meg Grip lat pull down attachment handles. And if you are new to these or you haven't heard of these before, basically it is a US made invention and company that created a bunch of angled handles to use for your lat pull down. They work your back very well instead of your traditional straight bar or even the traditional rounded angle bar that you would see with a normal lat pull down bar. These change the position of your hands and there's various angles that either supinate or pronate your, your wrists uh, inward or outwards and create a completely different training experience. So let's talk about the mag grips first and then we'll talk about the cheaper knockoffs. So when you go to the mag grip website, there's seven different angles or various sizes of their mag grip lat pull down attachments. And I have all seven here for the comparison. I've used all of them. And when you look at pricing on these, they are gonna range in price. Now, the prices per item, so when I list off a, um, one of these, it's gonna be per item. They are around $60, ranging up to 65, all the way to 75 for the very largest one, like this one right here, which is very wide, and that one there is $75. So, pricing wise, honestly, for the mag grips, the real mag grips isn't that bad in my opinion. What I found, however, is where it gets more expensive is when you start to add in um, the shipping costs. So, for example, I put together a list, I'll, I'll post this in the B-roll, of five of my favorite mag grips. So, as a fair comparison, the knockoff, the knockoff um, package has five, so let's, for the sake of straight comparison, I did five handles versus five handles. So I picked the five that I liked the best and added them up on the website and the total came to $324.75. Now, yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's quite a bit more money, but hang on through this review because I'm gonna put these actually through a training session and give you my, my feedback at the end. But 324, 325 basically, um, and that includes taxes. Now, it's quite a bit, that's quite a bit more than the knockoffs. We're gonna talk about the knockoffs and their pricing and stuff in, in a moment. But what really adds this up is when you add in shipping, which came to $62.43. So grand total, just for five of the mag grips, came to $387. That's almost $400. But is it worth it? We're gonna find out. But for the sake of comparison, let's talk about the knockoff version. Now remember, Meg Grips are designed and made in America. They're US made. That's a huge difference when it comes to um, producing something in the States. It's gonna cost more money versus Chinese factories. And we all know that when we're buying our equipment, I have people that are absolute diehards about only buying US made equipment and then other people sort of don't mind and they, they buy what works for them or what they can afford. So let's talk about the knockoffs. All right, so as of today, I just searched online and you can find these for sale on Amazon, you can find them for sale on um, Walmart's website and various other websites. And 
I feel, I feel sorry for the Australians. There is a reseller in Australia that is selling these for like $500. But anyway, we won't go there. So the best deal I could find today on Amazon was $110.49. That was, that's on sale. Um, and that, of course, if you're Amazon Prime member, includes uh, shipping, but plus taxes. So in around $130. I have seen them a little bit lower than that, um, as low as even $90. And again, I've seen them as expensive as $400 to $500 in Australia where people are reselling these. So the knockoff set is the same set. They're made in China, probably at the same factory, and then various distributors are selling them. There isn't a brand name behind them. So you're gonna see them marketed as um, essentials, balance form, um, wh whatever the name is. And in the B roll, I'm showing you this stuff. But the, the um, knockoff set comes with five handles. So you basically have a wide, a medium, and then sort of a smaller medium um, handle, and then two of your narrow handles. And I've got them right here to give you an example. Now, what really differentiates the knockoff version versus the mag grip version comes down to the handle angles themselves. And you'll notice with these knockoff versions, the handles are basically symmetrical. You can hook this up either way and the handle is in a perfect neutral position. So it's 180 degrees out from your horizontal plane. And that works pretty good. However, when we'll find out in the training um, which one I like better, Meg Grip has a very specific type of angle built into their attachments. So I think it's really worth noting that the cheaper knockoffs have just a neutral handle. So that's what you're gonna get there. Now, when you get to the cheaper knockoff, narrow version ones, yes, they do have some angle built into them. And that's really important because without any angle in these attachments, there's really no difference than just grabbing your regular close grip lat pull down attachment. You really wouldn't need to buy these. What makes these work really well is the way that the, handle, the handles are constructed and the way that they have the angles built into them. So, okay, let's cut it there and let's go train and we'll come back and we'll talk about what I found out. I ended up training uh, back with these on my uh, Titan lat pull down tower and I set the weight pretty light, 140 I think and around there and tried to keep the reps high and what I did is I just went through all the handles going from the mag grip to the knockoff trying to keep them relatively in the same size range. Obviously the mag grips just offered so much more handle um, angle and different placement there. So, but in terms of the test, everything was done as, as similar as I could keep it. And I was, I was kind of wondering about the handles themselves um, in terms of just how the handles feel. And let me just talk about that first. So I got my caliper out 
and measured everything. And the handles actually are almost identical in terms of the size. They're 32 millimeters. I mean, that's a rough measurement of, of how the handle's set up. But the actual design of the handle is quite a bit different. And you'll be seeing pictures of this as I talk about it. The knockoffs have kind of a round, um, almost like a piece of round stock that you grip onto versus the mag grips. It's more of a piece of steel that's been folded over. And right away when I was using these, the mag grips felt better. They, I mean, I'm, they really do feel better. It's noticeable. They are a better handle. In terms of the way this feels in your, on your hands and your wrists, it feels better than these guys. And it's not a huge deal, but I would definitely give the edge to the mag grip in terms of the actual grip of the, of the handle. And remember, they're both 32 millimeter. Um, the other thing that I was questioning was the thickness of the steel and the way that the mag grips are designed and made. They have a bit of an advantage with the mag grip. And what that is, is they, have, they left the eye section here uncoated. And that just makes for a lot easier um, clipping it on and off with the carabiner. You have to buy a wide mouth carabiner, which I'll show in the B-roll, to make it work with the knockoff version because it has sort of this uh, kind of a cheap eyelet thing that's on the end. And I find that these eyelets, they start to bend and they kind of start to uh, warp a little bit over time as you use them. But again, advantage there is definitely the mag grip. I was a little concerned about steel quality or say thickness, so I ended up measuring the thickness on the steel on both of these. With the coating on, uh, it was around 12 millimeters uh, when I measured that. So steel thickness is very comparable. Obviously, I don't know the grade of the steel. I can't see that um, without you know getting really into it. But in terms of strength, I don't feel like there's an issue with either the mag grips or the knockoffs. So in terms of durability, I think time will tell, but I've had the knockoffs for, for quite some time. I haven't had any bending issues or, or having them warp or anything like that. So I think that's probably a tie in terms of durability. They're both going to be pretty durable. Unless you're putting massive extreme amounts of weight on these, I can't see there being a problem there. Um, so how did they feel during the training? I have to say, and I will admit, the mag grips felt better. They felt better in a few different Re a few different reasons for that. Um, the number one difference is, again, it's in the handles and how the handles are angled. You really can tell when you're using one of these mag grips. And by the way, the way I used these, and this, this might be right or wrong, I don't know, but I used them by putting and facing the lettering of mag grip towards me. So I was gripping it like this and then pulling it down. It just seemed like that was the natural way to do it on all of them. So. Um, these, these angles, I mean, they're awesome. They really feel good. And having all seven is absolutely awesome. Um, you can really feel the difference when you're using them in terms of different, working different areas of your back and uh, just hitting different um, you know, specific muscle groups. You're still gonna be using the same muscle group in your back, but you're definitely hitting different angles. And it was noticeable. I really liked how the mag grips felt. Again, these knockoffs feel pretty good. And I think it comes down to this. If you only have these, they're gonna feel great. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna love them, it's not a big deal. Again, this is like all equipment that I found. Until you move up into something <clears throat> that's more expensive or better, you really never feel the difference. But I can say without a doubt, these mag grips, have a better training feel to them. Um, it doesn't mean these knockoffs don't work. They work great, and I think they're a fantastic thing to have in your home gym for the price. Uh, you can't go wrong with these. One thing I really like about the mag grips over the knockoffs is that they are made in the USA. It's a small company, um, and you're gonna be supporting a small company, US made company. And Unfortunately, with these knockoffs, <clears throat> these are just mass produced. And again, they are resold by countless distributors and resellers. So 
you don't have that personal um, uh, connection with, with these. But that's just uh, something that's an aside there. I don't think it's, it really has anything to do with the functionality of this. Um, but again, if you are wanting the best feel and the best quality in terms of the actual ergodynamics of these attachments, I would recommend you go with the mag grip. Now, you don't have to buy all seven of them. I really think the, ma the, the, the ones I would focus on first would be the, the largest one, without a doubt. This one here felt like nothing I've ever used. It was absolutely awesome. This would be one that I would highly recommend. And then <clears throat> working your way through the um, sort of mid length ones. Those would be the ones I would get if I could only pick say three, I would get the longest one and a couple of the mid, of the mid length ones or, you know. I think <clears throat> when it came down to the, the narrow ones, it sort of made maybe less of a difference in terms of the way it felt, in terms of the training. I think once you get into some of these narrow grips, the way that your, your, your hands aren't making as big of a difference in terms of the actual muscle group. So I would work from, I would buy them and get the biggest one, <coughs> excuse me, and then work your way down because, let me, let me grab one of my other. Here's a good example of, a narrow grip attachment that just about everybody has or you're going to find it in all your commercial gyms. And what I found is <clears throat> with the narrow ones, you're almost just as, as good with this here versus some of these fancier angled ones. And, and I hardly use my knockoff narrow grip um, um, attachments, almost never. I always reach for something like this. So to me, the value and where you're really gonna wanna buy these is in the wider sizes and that's gonna be your best bang for your buck. So yeah, um, that's my honest review on these. That's my take on it. Mag grips are better. Um, you know, are they worth it? That's gonna be kinda up to you. Um, I'm happy with the knockoff ones that I have, but having used the mag grips now, I can definitely say they're <clears throat> they're definitely better. I think the idea would be to try to, if you can, catch them on sale, use coupon codes, wherever you can, and slowly sort of build up um, in getting into maybe, you know, two or three of these, and I think you'd be good. The narrow ones, again, they work really well, but I think you're gonna get about the same benefit out of something like that. So um, that's my take on it. And yeah, I don't know if I solved anything with this re review, but this has been asked a thousand times and I've never seen anyone actually use them back to back and give, give feedback. So, <coughs> so I'm just getting over a cold and uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. By the way, I'm sitting in a short bed, um, 83 square body here that could be one of my next projects. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I uh, bought this thing sight unseen from an auction and uh, it's actually a pretty nice truck. So, um, yeah, you'll see it in the gym parked in here now um, quite a bit. So thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone's support. If you have questions about this review or anything you want to know, please comment down below, ask away, I'll, and I'll definitely get back to you. And uh, for everyone that follows the channel, thank you. We'll see you on the next one.